And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Anivia Tribal. That's right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, replay this deck. This is another fun deck where we're trying to get as many Anivias in play as possible. And we're ramping. We got our new ramp card with Weirding Stones. So we got Weirding Stones to go along with Catalyst of Aeons. Ramping up. And uh, yeah, getting to Anivia and trying to be enlightened as fast as possible. We also want Anivia to die so we can bring her back with Rekindler or with uh, Mist Call. Um, both of those um, are pretty nice. And see, we have like Chronicler of Ruin, um, Splinter Soul that can make it ephemeral. Just kind of like a lot of cool little things like that. We have Entreat to go draw Anivia if need be. We have Spectral Matron that can put it into play and be ephemeral or put Rekindler into play. A lot of cool little stuff here. So. Let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play our control deck. I call it Anivia Tribal. I guess we need to be on the play section. There we go. All right, here we go. All right, so our last deck of the day. We'll have Rank Up Sunday tomorrow. So we'll be playing like some tier one decks tomorrow for Rank Up Sunday. And then uh, Monday, we should have all of the we should have all the cards previewed. Um, so yeah, I guess you know usually we do meme tier Monday, but uh, you know maybe we'll be doing a, a preview stream where we talk about all of the, the new cards. And then I think on Tuesday we'll have all the new cards. So we're almost there. All right, playing against. So this is kind of weird. Like, we're playing against Karina Control, but Avalanche can actually be good against Karina Control because of Brood Awakening. I'm going to go ahead and mulligan it. Because we still have other, you know, like, we have Withering Whales also. We have our own Brood Awakenings. We have other cars that we can get to, but we want our ramp. We want our Anivias. What's that noise? Here. All right, Conte asks, in your opinion, who is the cooler cooler champ in Legends of Runeterra? Including the new ones arriving. Oh, it's so like just the coolest out of all of them? Oh, man, that's a that's a lot to choose from. Lady Elise, please take me home. Hush, um, It'll be over soon. And who is the strongest one? That is tough. So who's the coolest champ and who's the strongest champ? Look out for reavers. Coolest champ may be Anivia. Say it wasn't worth it. Like this art and everything, this is cool. There's so many champions I like. There. Hard to pick one. Uh, like, just one. Um, I like Teemo a lot. Like, Teemo's really cool. Teemo's pretty janky. The strongest champ... Um, I mean, I do like... You know, like, Callista, Thresh. Man, so many champs I like. Like Ash. Ash is a fun champion to play. Lucian. Alright, so if I cast this, I guess I should focus here for a little bit. Um, we'll have six. Okay, so we're looking at playing just Withering Whale or, or Grasp. We'll cast this. We're going to be behind, but I think that's okay. Um, the strongest champ... Wow, they didn't play anything. That's good for me. Strongest champ may be Karma. I'm kind of thinking Karma for a strongest champ. Light the 
Alright, so bad news, they found another Elise. Good news, I drew another Grass of the Undying. And a Ruination. I could just Ruination right now. Nah, let's go with this. Just so in so enticing to, for them to not use all that mana. Now I wish I didn't play that Withering Whale. Man, I wish I had two more, two more mana. I really want to play Weirding Stone so I can get the extra mana gem and also Chronicler of Ruin. I'll just Weirding Stones, get this extra mana gem so we go up to 10. But obviously I'd want to Chronicler of Ruin and get a second Anivia. Alright, so now this Weirding Stones is just kind of in the way. Now it's just kind of in the way. Cast Ruination, then I have four mana left. So there's not a huge reason to Ruination, right? Which those Weirding Stones within here? I guess that's the reason to ruination. I'll be bummed out if they have Mystic Shot to kill an Anivia.
looks like I kind of wasted a Brood Awakening. I'm going to draw a Rekindler. That's fine. Obviously, I would like to play Brood Awakening first before attacking, but that is probably a little risky to damage base spells. Two mystic shots and a get excited. But dang, five spells. See the Nebastian border from here. Dang. The Frelior's eternal guardian. They will to fear the sun. Well, this is basically the game. Yeah, I mean, this is the game. Hopefully, they only hit three. Three or less. We need... No, they hit four. Including the third, get excited. Wow, exactly cool. They hit nine out of ten. With three Navaraza. Nine out of ten. I was going to attack him for so much there, puppy. Can't quite see puppy that much, that well. But we can. All right, same matchup. We'll see if I regret not keeping um not keeping a treat. That Ledros Karina combo. Kills kills me faster than Anivia kills them. Hey boo. I know what No. Elise is so good. Yep, this puppy. She's lying here on, on my lap. <laughs> Need a dig for five mana spells. Want to dig for champions? Avalanche is going to be pretty good. So, you know, we're, we're using Avalanche and Vile Feast. So, we're, we're two for one, two, three. I guess we're only two for three. We only traded with three cards there. And we spent two. Why does this deck 
run Elise and not more control champs like Karma or Thrash? Well, yeah, Kar Karma's not in the, the region, but, you know, it could play Thrash. But the thing is, is, is it has a really, like, the those nine mana epics give the deck a really good late game. It's like the early game they're concerned about, and, and Elise is just a great early game card. I pull the strings. And so it, it fits it fits their curve perfectly. I don't think we're winning this game. Don't have any. We don't have our top end threats. We have a lot of cards in hand that aren't good. Yeah. None of these cards do anything. Not good. I get that extra mana gem from that catalyst, but maybe I just don't even cast it because like, we use it for a gain life spell later. Alright, and I did shuffle away. As y'all know, I did shuffle away the Entreat because we were going to draw a whole lot of other cards, but I'm getting punished for that shuffling away that Entreat because you know we don't have an Anivia, so... Okay, there's an Anivia. Um, I don't play it pre-combat, though, because they're likely playing Karina Barraza. Oh, they're going Ledros. Okay. Makes sense to go Ledros. Get all that dam- get 10 damage in first. Yeah, there's just one glimpse beyond. We're not really, you know, like, we're not really playing many early threats. We have, like, Vile Feast and Brood Awakening, and that's it. We just ended up, you know, drawing a bunch of Brood Awakenings, but there's a lot of times where Vile Feast can do nothing. They may play like a Withering Whale. Alright, nope, they're going with Karina. Progress day. Keeping Withering Whale up. Alright, we either get Anivia or Ignivia. Sweet. Alright, 
Alright, time to attack. They obviously need Withering Whale. Like, that's, that's where it starts. Unfortunately, they have it. And Grasp also. That's... Alright, so that puts them to two. If I if I vengeance my own Anivia, um, they would still gain three. They wouldn't gain three here. They would still gain three here and go to nine, and then we do two, four, seven. So it's the exact same thing. So really, this yeah, we can't we can't really stop that. So they just go to two. Nothing I can do to keep you know to stop that. So. Probably just keep the vengeance in hand. Back up to eight. I should block probably first, also. Alright, so hopefully they don't have eight points of burn in hand. You know, that's two get excited and mystic shots. That one, but we drew the entreat to get the Anivia just in time. Just in time. And then, you know, our missed calls get more Anivias and everything. Alright, let's play a different matchup. I think we saw how the Karina control matchup goes. It's real close, back and forth. control. We're just in the control bracket. We're in that control bracket. What do you think of control, puppy? this double catalyst. I got the goods. I don't like this pickpocket. I don't like that pickpocket one bit. Don't mind me. I am really glad that that worked, that we got to trade. What you looking for? Stop playing these pickpockets. Now we're so far behind now. We don't even get the catalyst. Love it. It's 
not a good trade for them. Right? Like, don't they want the elusive thing? I don't know. I don't know why, I mean, that was dumb. Should let them hit me for four first and then gain three life. I, I could be a 19. Real bad. It's all good, Conti. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. I got a snoring dog in my lap right now. So I, I understand. It being late and going to bed. I just, I just can't go to one against the deck filled with Mystic Shots and get excited. We're already like really low probability of winning this, but that that just makes it basically zero. I just can't go to one. Our rank, we're somewhere around twelve hundred right now. Somewhere around there. That probably means I I mean it's, I can't I don't think I can just sit back and protect um, and do I can't really cast catalyst because then they're gonna kill me with these attackers yeah hey okay hello G 
GG's. They had just everything went right for them that game. Literally everything went right for them. Ugh, now I guess now we're down to 1400. We fall in. We started today around 1000 and we're 9 and 9 and we're at 1400 now. Oh, we're we were probably closer to 1100, but we we're in like you know we're like a 1080 or something like that. All right, Thresh Trindamir. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's keep this catalyst. All right, we're we're ramping. That's good. The rest we have removal for small creatures. They don't really play small creatures, so we don't really need that stuff. But we're ramping. Ooh, I love it! Another ramp spell. That's good. Want to get to this Anivia Mist Call? We're gonna have to outdo. No to like they're they're probably playing, you know, like they're gonna be playing War Mother's Call, so we're gonna have to outdo War Mother's Call, and that's gonna be tough. Possibly I don't want to play Anivia right now. So obviously Anivia is my only threat. If they kill Anivia and kill the egg. That's all I got. Will no one listen? I'm scared of those two things. I don't know. I don't know how much LP you, you gain when you win a game anymore in Masters. I don't know. I don't know if there's like a specific number. Oh, this is Mist Call, not Splinter Soul. I've been thinking this was Splinter Soul in hand. I've been kind of playing like this was Splinter Soul. But it's Mist Call. Okay, so it depends on the opponent's rank. How much you win or win or lose. So I have eleven mana. I wanna play Chronicler and I wanna play Miss Call, that's seven, so that means I would have four more. Probably need to cast one of these things. I protect this place.
Okay, so yeah, it just goes by standing. Yeah. Yeah, like there yeah, there isn't yeah, once you're in master's rank it's not by league points, but I didn't know if there's like if that was something I was supposed to know. Chronicler first? It doesn't matter. The War Mother will unite us all. So if they have atrocity, I lose. Love to untap with all four Anivias. No, I was afraid of that too. All right, vile feasting this thing so it turns, you know, it'll turn into the nine nine and then it'll take two damage. So it'll be a nine seven. Turn for them. Let's go. More Nivia's. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this deck silly. <laughs> Many tribes under one banner. Let's soar. I don't actually like you know like. All they're doing is playing this thing that's gonna die. This is our homeland. You'll need more than that. All right, so I'll cast Withering Whale to kill this Trindamir also. don't need to do it during combat with them not blocking. If they're blocking with Trindamira, I cast it during combat, but I can wait till post-combat to see if they play something else that you know, I can get uh, point of damage on. So they'll have priority first. They did not, passing it back to me. I don't really want them to... Uh, they still have atrocity mana anyway. I don't want them to at least untap with atrocity. For some reason in my mind, I was thinking they didn't have atrocity mana. I should do it before they untap, but they still had atrocity mana. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, I miscounted whenever I was <laughs> talking, but worked out. Now stop avalanche in. So yeah, that was... Yeah, I, I just miscounted. I should have untapped because I still had atrocity mana as I realized while I was speaking. No! I don't like that. I don't like that. I liked my rekindler more. This will be a slaughter. Mm. I will 
endure. I protect this place. Like what's their play? Like withering wheel? Trendemir used to have toughness also. He used to be tough. Wow. Tough trendy. So that just puts them to six. I still have uh, six points of a Nevi attack. They're gonna have to have more life gain. Then this will wipe those out. Even if they do end up having Withering Whale. Come from the dark. Try me. Darn. Um So here's the problem. I'm just gonna let it happen. So Here's, if I if I glimpse beyond one of these things, then they get one damage on the egg, and it makes it real easy to kill the egg. You know, all they need is another, you know, like a vile feast, something like that. Like it makes it really easy to kill the egg. And so I kind of don't want to play glimpse beyond. Um, I know we we're not getting the two cards, but three Anivias is, is going to kill my opponent. I don't really need two random cards from my deck. I would rather have an Agnivia than two random cards. And if they do have something to kill one of these eggs, then, you know, then I'll Glimpse Beyond. So we'll still end up, you know, we'll still be fine with the Glimpse Beyond if they do end up killing this. But I don't want them to use Vile Feast and kill an Agnivia. Don't want that to happen. A new era begins! Still overwhelming everything. So they deal with all these overwhelms. So that's good news. So now they're not going to use Grass the Undying on one of my Agnivias. And now they're not going to gain the three life. And now they're dead. GG's. Alright, two and two. GG's. That was a good Anivia game. Like, we made um, a lot of Anivias. Hmm. I don't like getting rid of Rekindler. But we don't have a Nivea. Maybe they won't have Yasuo. Is that possible? They just don't have Yasuo. Alright, higher upside is go Vile Feast, Vile Feast. 
and then untap Brood Awakening, and I have 10 power in play that I'm attacking with. The problem with that play is deny. So it's safer to get the 6 power in play while we can. And I'll just do that. I will play my part. And then the other, the other thing Waiting does is it does give me Vile Feast to pair with Grasp to try to take down Yasuo. Um, I use Streamlabs OBS to stream. No. I'll pet you, though. Bye, Harvey. I'll pet you. This pup sitting on my lap. I'm petting her. I'll start petting you now. Take it. Make it take it. I hate how Twin Disciplines is spur speed. Love it. Let's go. Wow, not even blocking the one one. They're out there. How surprising. have anything else to do. Let's do this. Just do something. Basically, I don't want them to play like Minotaur Reckoner and then deny my vengeance. Okay, so playing Glimpse Beyond means I don't have vengeance for Minotaur Reckoner. That's fine. Had them do, you know, just use some mana. All right. That's pretty good for us. Like, all we did was just trade two cards in our hand for two cards in their hand, especially two cards that weren't really doing anything. So that's not bad. The real problem is I got nothing for this matron. You cannot escape. Yeah. I was happy with that will of Ionia. I was happy. Still up a couple of cards in hand though.
Yay. Well, I guess I don't need to play this card anymore. No, I'll still play it. More Yones and Swiftfoots will be problematic. I guess Yone and Swiftfoot are really good against play a 7 mana thing and attack with it. I think those cards are really good against my strategy. Yes, if, Agne if Agnivia is in hand, or if Agnivia is in play, then the other card will be a Harsh Winds in hand. So Matron gives me two bodies, but this only gives me one body. But Anivia gives me five mana to cast Grasp on that thing. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Send him up. And bring them down. Oh, I needed to play Harsh Winds, didn't I? Harsh Winds plus Chronicler, that was how I got out of this. I need to play the Harsh Winds first. Yeah, Harsh Winds plus Chronicler was how I got out of this. I get out of this, I mean, untap one turn. <clears throat> Still very, very, very unlikely chance of us winning it by Chronicler Harsh Winds. Like, we're just chump blocking with the Harsh, you know, like, they get to keep everything, we lose both of our cards. Yeah, they are just not, yeah. That was my play to at least untap. All right, there we go. That's Anivia Tribal. I think, you know, it's it's all about playing a lot of Anivias. That that plan against um, Swiftfoots, not not so good. Swiftfoot, um, very good at bouncing seven mana things, and so that was pretty rough. Notice that one that last game. Um, but you know, fun deck to play. Not not necessarily one of the best. You know, like we we're just, uh, but. We're getting a bunch of Nivias in play, but it's a fun one to play. 
All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck or just all the new cards. Let me know which ones are your, your favorites, like which ones are you really excited about? Which ones do you want me to craft right away and build decks around? Um, those of y'all in in chat here, there's a link to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash hawktie, where you can see all of the replays. The other three decks are already up there from today. Yesterday, we had we had some really good videos yesterday. We went 17-3 um, and three yesterday um, overall, like with our four decks and our 20 games, 17-3. and three. Um, And really, one of those should not have been a loss at all. One of those losses, I, I just messed up. Like, it really should have, like, we had no business losing. So it really should have been an 18-2. and two. Um, Yeah, see, so check out those videos from yesterday. We had some good decks. All right, but that's it here for Anivia Tribal. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.